We start with the first curve, x cubed minus 3xy squared plus 2 is equal to 0. We differentiate with respect to x, we get 3x squared minus, in the brackets, 3y squared plus 3x times the differential of y squared, which is 2y dy upon dx, is equal to 0. This can be rearranged as x squared minus y squared minus 2xy dy upon dx is equal to 0. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to x squared minus y squared divided by 2xy. Now, moving on to the second curve, which is 3x squared y minus y cubed minus 2 is equal to 0. Differentiating with respect to x, the first term taking 3 out of the brackets, we get 2x times y plus x squared times the derivative of y minus 3y squared dy upon dx is equal to 0. Collecting all terms with dy upon dx, we get 2xy plus x squared minus y squared multiplied by dy upon dx is equal to 0. And therefore, dy upon dx for the second curve is equal to minus 2xy upon x squared minus y squared. Now let x1 and y1 be the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two curves. Therefore, the slope of the tangent or dy upon dx at the point of intersection for the first curve is equal to x1 squared minus y1 squared divided by 2x1 y1. And similarly, the slope of the tangent at x1 y1 for the second curve is equal to minus 2x1 y1 divided by x1 squared minus y1 squared. Now, if you take the product of the two gradients of the tangents for the first curve and the second curve at the point of intersection, we get x1 squared minus y1 squared divided by 2x1 y1 multiplied by minus 2x1 y1 divided by x1 squared minus y1 squared. x1 squared minus y1 squared cancels and the x1, y1 cancels across the numerator and denominator, and we are left with minus 1 for all x1, y1. Now we know that two lines are perpendicular if the product of the gradients is minus 1, and therefore the two curves intersect orthogonally or at 90 degrees at all points of intersection.